to choice of Alexandria, a text-based demo that I downloaded. So there will be a, a, I'll have to do a lot of reading out loud, which I am not too excited for, but whatever. Okay, <laughs> here we go. 245 BCE before Common Era. There is a light on the horizon that outshines the stars and the moon, peaking above the dark waters of the Mediterranean. It is the lighthouse of Alexandria, a bright beacon on a dark night. You remember its construction when you were young. As tall as forty houses, they said, shaking their heads in disbelief at the hubris of Ptolemy, Ptolemy the Second. But now it shines in the distance on this night guiding your vessel closer with every swish of the rower's oars. The lighthouse is proof that anything is possible in Alexandria. Why did you decide to go to Alexandria? Options. I have always wanted to know everything I can provide the education that will make the prince a great ruler. I miss my old friend Archimedes. We built some amazing things together. I plan to manipulate the royal family until they're dead and I rule. Alexandria. Ah. While personally, I love knowledge, so I think I'll go with the first one. I have always wanted to know everything. Oh shit. Uh, since you were young, you have been in awe of Alexandria, a center of learning like no other. Scholars from all over the world have been drawn here like moths to a brilliant flame, but only a select few have been invited by King Ptolemy himself. When you received the letter with Ptolemy's seal, seal, your heart leapt. How could you ever refuse? This is your destiny. The letter also said something about becoming a tutor to the young Ptolemy the Fourth who will one day inherit the throne. Child care is not something you've ever paid much attention to, but you suppose it will be a learning experience like any other. As you look out on the ocean, a gaunt bearded man wearing a fine purple chiton comes to join you on the ship's prow. He gives you a tight, disdainful smile. You are the one who will be young 
Ptolemy Struter, correct? You nod. That's me, and you are? Sosibus, he says with a scoff, as if you should have known better. He looks you up and down. Aren't you a little young to be the prince's tutor? I don't believe my age is relevant. You turn your gaze again to the lighthouse in the distance, hoping this annoying man will mind, get the hint and leave. <laughs> But you are young for someone with such an illustrious post. Ptolemy the Third was tutored by head librarian Apollonia Apollonius, and even then he was much older than you are now. I'm not certain why you're telling me this, you say. You should simply understand that you cannot expect much advancement yet, uh, Sosibus says. So when someone like myself a man with of no particular advantages or talents is offered a position of power ahead of you. Remember that I have at least been working a long time for it. If I become the prince's caretaker, do not attempt to deny me the influence that is my due options. And what will you do with that influence? Ah, uh, I will stay out of your way. The prince deserves true friends. Are you ready to be one? The prince can be our joint creation. What do you say? It is I who will win power in this court. I suggest you stay out of my way. Ah, uh, what do you guys think? I think the most noble response is the prince deserves to have true friends. Are you ready to be one? Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, Sosibus laughs. Ha, <laughs> you are an idealist, I see. Good luck with that. Sosibus looks behind him, then whispers, comes. Remember, she thinks highly of me, so you would do well to treat me with respect. Greet, greetings, both of you. Queen Baroness the Second joins you at the ship's prow. Despite her regal title, Baroness prefers to dress like an athlete. Her tunic doesn't cover her knees. Such a shit on would have been scandalous in Syrian, but you've heard women dress and act more like men in Alexandria. Bermanese's muscular build and the bronze dagger tucked into her belt suggests that she can protect herself just fine without a bodyguard. And indeed, she has none on this trip. As your queen back in Cyrene, Berenice has gained a somewhat fearsome reputation 
including a rumor that she killed her previous husband, Demetrius the Fire. But now the people of Alexandria talk only about their queen's legendary romance with Ptolemy the Third. You hear that in Alexandria, they love instead of fear her. The twenty odd oarsmen are from Simon, however, and they carefully avert their gaze from the queen to avoid drawing her attention. I see you two are getting to know each other. My companion has remarkable wit, I can tell already. Sosibas says, bowing low to you in a way. You're sure he would not have done minutes ago, but I like a name for this fine sage. Okay, what's my name? Eratosthenes? Sophia, I'm a man by a different name. I'm a woman by a different name. Ah, uh, I'll go with Eratosthenes. It's a mouthful. Eras. Eratosthenes, I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance, Sosibus says. Again, I'll obsequiousness. I'm not sure of the pronunciation. Is that what you like to be called? Well, I do have a nickname. My friends call me Beta, beta, because I'm second best at everything. Zeus, because I can create thunder and lightning from my inventions. Apollo, because they always came to me for advice. Plato, since I ran my own academy back home. Prometheus. Since I tried to get in a little trouble as I spread knowledge by my real name, though, because my unflattering nickname had to do with how I've dissected cadavers. Now, personally, I... I myself like my position second best. So I'll say better because I'm always best, second best at everything. Better, huh? Sosibus says dubiously. Berenice grins a little. You're humble. I like that. While it's hard to be first at things when you're classmates with Archimedes, Berenice looks surprised. Archimedes, the inventor, you know him? We were students at the museum at the same time. You nod in the direction of the lighthouse. In between classes, we would run off together to watch the lighthouse being built. Berenice follows your gaze to the lighthouse and smiles at some private memory. 
And what do you think of my husband's private lighthouse options? A granny a granary for the Egyptians might have been a better plan. I'm eager to perform some measurements from the top. I want to test a hypothesis like Anz like Alexandria itself. It's a beacon of hope in a dark world. Ah, I like this one. <sighs> you know what? Ah, my, I don't have anything to drink, and my throat is getting hella dry so I'll just wait a moment for you to read and then I'll read the options Options. I happen to have installed some anti-pirate traps on the ship while my rhetoric skills, with my rhetoric skills, I convinced the oarsmen to stand up to the pirates. Berenice can fight them. I will stand ready if she is injured. Uh, I'll be gallant and say this one. Options. This doesn't seem like the time. Let's test some weapons I invented instead. Yes, let's raise the black flag of parley. Let's race past them. Our men may get hurt, but I can help with their injuries later. Ah. Uh, I like fighting, so I'll say the first one. Okay. Okay. 
options. I tried to explain that Sosibus plans to manipulate the unborn prince. I indirectly implied that she should be on guard against Sosibus. I say nothing about Sosibus and Chad, but Chad about our mutual hometown of Siren instead. I... I feel like Sosibus is my mate, so, like buddy, so I'll choose a third one. Options. I am excited to be a part of the Alexandrian Empire now. I admit I do not yet think myself as Alexandrian. I admit I don't particularly care when cities change hands. Uh, I the Baronies uh, seems like the kind of woman not to take shit from anybody, so I'll say the first one. Oh. Options. This is the one place in the world where people of all nations seem to get along. This is the center of all knowledge in the world. This is the beginning of a great empire. Again, she looks like she can kill me without a uh, second thought, so I should please her by saying this is the beginning of a great empire. Options. I will. 
I should hope I will teach him to think independently enough to have a mind of his own. If he hangs on my every word, I will be pleasantly surprised. Again, I don't want to piss her off, so I'll say I will. Options. When wealth creates beauty and knowledge, I approve. The wealth that built this palace should have been used to feed the poor. Honestly, I'm thinking about math and have trouble paying attention to my surroundings. While... She's a vain queen, right? So, ah, uh, I think it's wise to say when wealth creates beauty and knowledge, I approve. Options. I accept on the condition that you provide a stipend for Archimedes to come visit. I accept on the condition that you make it very clear to your son that my word is law. I accept on the condition that I get plenty of time and resources for my own studies. I accept on the condition that you change the laws that treat Egyptians unequally. While all of these seem pretty Good, something I would say, but really, I've always wanted to meet Archimedes, so I'll say I accept on the condition that you provide a stipend for Archimedes to come visit. Awesome, we were in Alexandria now.
options until saucy must believe and I encourage you plead to tell Ptolemy about these threats. I tried to placate Sosibus, then I encourage Euclid to avoid needlessly provoking him. I tell Sosibus that I, at least, am interested in his favors. I'm starting to get the feeling that Sosibus is a villain. So, uh, I'll say I tell Sosibus to leave and I encourage you Clint, to tell Ptolemy about these threats. While uh, I may buy it later and then I'll uh, continue on, but for now, uh, that's the end. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. I do two videos a day, five days a week. I have weekends off. Uh, until my summer schedule kicks in. And then I'll do one video a day, five days a week. But I'll still have weekends off. So, uh, hit like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, or leave comments, send whatever. Good.